Back to school, right around the corner. 7 Action News anchor, my 5 o'clock partner, Glenda Lewis, live at Will Carlton Middle School in the Warren Consolidated School District to learn more about school safety protocols in place to keep kids safe. What have you learned, Glenda? Well, I tell you, Brian, the landscape of back to school preparedness has really changed. I mean, no longer is it about supplies and seat assignments as much as it is a focus on educators to keep themselves and your kids alive. Today, a safety program played out throughout Warren Consolidated Schools. It was critical and at times emotional. If I were to come at you and you're shooting, go for the legs. I mean, I don't know. Life saving is first on the lesson plan for Warren Consolidated Schools. So if you do get shot, if you do get injured, you will survive. You'll continue to fight for your life because everyone obviously in here is important. 130 people of various positions in the district volunteered to be students for a day. You better have a plan to lunge at somebody. Um, don't kind of curl up and feed a up. To learn what is often taught in the moment of tragedy, how to protect, fight and survive. I've never heard gunshots before, so it was quite eye opening and jarring. You know, it makes it completely different as what will I do versus actually hearing something like that. Do you feel like, you know, staff, yourself, um, have gained something today. Today is about preparation. It's about being ready for whatever may come. Don't be a victim. You're not a victim anymore. You know, that was personal. You're trying to take, you're trying to take me away from this world. I'm not going to allow that. That's your mindset, right? Yeah. Rick Scholes <laughs> discussed the impact of every move. The school's director of security and crisis management, along with Warren and Sterling Heights police, put each participant in different roles they could feel in the face of an active shooter. I'm going to shoot rounds off in the media center and then I'm going to walk out those doors down there. And this can't get any more real for Warren Mott High School security guard Kimberly Caswell. When you use the term live it out, you know, you certainly have you and your family uh, touched personally by this. Yes, I happened to be at school when I found out about my nephew. Her nephew, Justin Colton, escaped with his life from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. He was a freshman at the time, shot twice. I'm very proud of him. He survived by his actions of, um, and by what he did makes me think about what I should do all the time. And I'm happy to report that Justin is in college now and he's doing well and he's playing hockey and we're thankful to his aunt for taking a moment to share that story with us. You know, after our own tragedy in Oxford High School, our state came together, they pulled together to try an effort to keep that from happening in our state again, and that transferred and translated into dollars and cents for active training drills like we had here today in Warren. I had the opportunity to walk around with Dr. Robert Livernoy, and he showed us the incredible and expansive safety techniques used in Warren schools. Every single door in the district has this thumb turn. Active shooters don't, they don't take the time to try to shoot things out and get in the room. They're just looking. So we also have as part of our drill, you lock the door, you seek what we call a hard corner away from a door or window. And that, in addition to the door lock, just continues to increase their survival. For every entry and exit door in the district, they're numbered, both inside and outside. So for this particular number three, outside the building above the door is the number three, which creates an opportunity for people in the building to let law enforcement know where they are. This is a dome camera, and it allows you to see in all directions. Mm -hmm. And that camera is one of 1,750 cameras in the district that are all part of our central security system. In uh, active crisis, we can give the local municipality, the police department, say Sterling Heights, they can get real-time access to that camera to know what's happening so they can better respond to, uh, to an intruder. And we're also told that law enforcement in every car is equipped with an access pass. So in the face of an emergency, they can walk up 
and swipe a badge and get right into any school in Warren Consolidated Schools. There is a state program in Michigan. It's focused on preventing school tragedies because that's what educators say that we need to do. We need to start making a safe space for students so that they can feel comfortable about talking and, and seeing and saying their concerns. They can report a confidential tip through the OK to Say hotline. The phone number is 8555 OK to Say, or you can text 652729. You can also download the OK to Say app to report any issue that you may have. Live in Warren, I'm Glenda Lewis. Partner, back to you. Just incredible to see the realities that not only students, but districts are having to go through in order to try to keep their students safe. Glenda, thank you.